everybody welcome back to my kitchen I know right you saw this actually in my last video where I introduced everyone to Rainy who is actually right over there the kids are enjoying some animal crackers actually they're goldfish crackers they are that's an animal sure why not they're enjoying those for lunch and I'm prepping dinner now one of my favorite things to prep is actually a teriyaki chicken that I got from this book. Got this book as a wedding gift in 2009. And the teriyaki chicken recipe is on page 229 of this exact book. I just, I use this and it has been a family favorite for 10 years. So that's what we're going to, to make. I will pause my ramble real quickly to put the recipe of what you put into the mix right here. Yes. And then we will, um, excuse me, she says rubbing her face on my tripod. Um, and then we will go ahead and uh, you can just try this as well it's super easy um sherry is optional i do not use the sherry in my recipe i've never used the sherry in my recipe but i still enjoy the recipe so let's get to it all right everybody i've got a pretty simple recipe here i've got three quarter cup soy sauce and by the way if ever you find you're low on soy sauce those packets you get from the um Chinese food place is perfect. So I'm gonna add that to my bowl because I prefer to use a bowl. You can use a bag if you'd like to and shake it up in a bag and just leave it in that. But I prefer a bowl. Then I need three tablespoons of brown sugar. Then I need half a teaspoon of ginger, which of course I buy the powdered stuff because I'm not ritzy enough to be able to buy the fresh stuff. And then half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now you can use fresh garlic. It'd probably be like two cloves. I'm gonna take an ordinary old whisk and just whisk this all together. This is such an easy recipe, see? So now that's all mixed together. And now we get our chicken. Start putting my chicken directly into it. We are going to grab a spatula, which we're going to leave in there. We're gonna give that a good stirring. See all these nice pieces I like to just kind of chop it up because I'm gonna to toss this over rice you could also put it on noodles like I've also added this to ramen to kind of spice it up a bit and I've put this on wraps on a chicken wrap which has been pretty a pretty good success and then next we put it in the fridge for an, an hour minimum. I'm gonna keep it in for an hour. I've also done this overnight, which works really well. We're gonna let this cook for 45 minutes in the juices in the oven, and then we'll enjoy. Now, doesn't that look tasty? Here we have chicken teriyaki, very simply made, with some white rice and steamed broccoli. Now for the part that people seem strangely interested in, the taste test. Mm. It's really tender. It's got this like real great sweet and salty vibe. It's absolutely perfect. I strongly suggest this recipe. They call for like a whole dozen chicken drumsticks in the recipe, but I like to use chicken breast. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Perfect. Well, if you like this video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button down below and ring that bell so you know when I'm because, well, we'll pretend like the bell works. Bye. Have a great one. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. See you next time.